I'm involved with the Seeing Then Heroes campaign because it's great to be able to support people who are involved in a small scale way trying to make the world better. Last year, there was a hero that I particularly love, Magnus McFarlane Barrow, who does Mary's Meals. Today, we're feeding 460,000 children. The number's gone up. He's attaching meals for children to education, to really simple things in countries where people are experiencing real poverty and may not have meals or education. <laughs> One of the things that I particularly was interested in was helping women who may live in a world where they weren't trained to do anything and they weren't afforded an education. Oxfam will go into these communities and try to help out. The recent trip I went in with Oxfam to Kenya, we were first in Tanzania, which was a planned trip. We were there to meet some women farmers who were having tremendous success. And when we were there, we started getting emails about this huge influx of people into the refugee camp in upper Kenya, northern Kenya, right by Somalia. We decided that we better get up there and see what's going on. So we flew up to Dadaab refugee camp. I had never been there. And it was, it was shocking. It was really, really shocking. I, it's hard. It was just really shocking that a famine of this scale, with this many children at risk and suffering, that this would be happening today. And I know Oxfam and many other NGOs are there really working hard, and people have been very generous in tough times. But it is still a really sad thing that this can happen. And we have to kind of, you know, remember that it doesn't have to happen, and we can change it. How many are yours? 20. Just going is such an inspiration for me that I would do it whether anyone ever asked me about it at all, but it's wonderful to be able to talk about them to other people because I think sometimes we're not aware of how other people are living. <laughs> That's some hard work you do all day. <laughs> there's so many negative stories in our news and there's so many problems in the world and there are good things happening and there are people really trying to make a change and it's wonderful to be able to meet them and be inspired by them and talk about them.